It's Britta, your friendly neighborhood children's director from Ringgold United Methodist Church. And I hope you can hear me over this wind. And I'm a little bit of a wreck, but this is the hay for our hay rides. And I wanted to make sure that I got it under the tarp before the rain started today. And I did. And I made sure it didn't have any ants. So I'm super excited about that and thankful that I was able to have a little window of time this morning to finish getting it. And I wanted to talk to you about the family table, which is what Pastor Chris talked about last week in worship. We were talking about how we want you to pull up a seat to the table. For instance, that uh, vehicle up there is my husband's that he let me borrow because it has a tow trailer and the trailer belongs to somebody else in the church that they have and then the people that are coming to do the hay rides themselves are going to bring their own trucks and trailers and and it's kind of like when a family circles together and they say this stuff needs to happen how can we make it happen and they do it and that's what having a church family is like um, so it's being a part of it you could come and just worship on Sunday morning and that's okay because that will draw you god will talk to you through all of that but it's when you start doing as part of a family of god that you will really feel connected um you'll be blessed by that and so i just want to invite you as you gather with your family whether you sit around a table and eat a meal and we do that sometimes but sometimes there's a show we want to watch, and so we sit as a family and watch a show. Sometimes we've worshipped online, and we stop in the middle, and we start talking about whatever the topic was. So all of those are family-type things, and all of those are things I hope that you'll experience as part of our church community. I'm so excited about the Trunk or Treat on Sunday night from 5 to 7. I want to see you there. I want to see what costume you're wearing. And in fact, if you want to come in your costume on Sunday morning, I would love to see it. Sunday morning in worship, we'll learn a little bit more about being part of a church family reunion, having a family reunion as a church family. I look forward to worshiping with those of you who worship in person, with those of you who worship online. I look forward to every little tiny connection that we can make because that is what makes family possible. Beep, 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 beep. Hey you guys, I'm sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program, but I had a thought after I finished recording In the Wind and I decided that it was important enough that I make sure I include it. If you have ever been part of a family reunion that you get together with people from all over the place, there's almost certainly going to have been a kid's table there. If you'll think back at different times, you have eaten from a bottle, you have sat in a high chair probably and eaten your food, or a booster seat up at the table, and when you get to a kid's table, you kind of look and see if your table has the same things on it that the adult table does, and if they've got the gravy or the donuts or whatever it is that you really wish you had, then you want to make sure that you get over there too. I want to make sure I tell you that there is room at our church's table for kids always. So whether you are in the nursery or if you come to wiggle worship or you come and you stay in worship or if you become youth, like I'm wearing a youth shirt, that's because my children are involved in youth. They're connected in different ways and serving in different ways than kids do, but we're all part of the same family. So. I want you to know our table is big enough and we've got special places for little bitties and kids and medium kids and big kids and youth and adults. If you'll remember back to Jesus and his disciples, it was the disciples, the people that Jesus chose to follow him. It was the disciples that tried to keep kids from bothering Jesus. And Jesus said, no, don't keep the kids from coming to me. So we're glad that you're here. And we're looking forward to all of the ways that you keep us young and we invite you to the table. Just remember that you belong as part of this family. As you're part of this family, you will become like Jesus. And as part of this family, you'll bless others. Just like so many are going to bless all of our community on Sunday night with just a night of fun. That's important.
and I think that's holy too right now in this time so I um, I pray that until I see you next you are blessed and I will see you soon bye